Oh yes, I know mbono me click hii video because nimeanika hapo hivyo chini hawezi umboka na plan ya 1 year. That's very true. Na najua najiuliza what exactly do I mean by that? Na hiyo ndo na share na wewe with you all this entire video. Yule tunafaa kufanya is just watch this video to the end, alright? And guess what? Kuwa na post a video each and every day kukupea tips on how to save, invest and anything related to finance. Kama utaki kumis any of my good videos, it's very simple, doesn't cost you anything, nani free. Apo hivyo chini, on your right kuna ka button, kame niko subscribe, it is in black. Hit that magical button, like this video and comment down below. By the way, only by doing that, kila time niki post a new good video, you'll be notified by the YouTube, alright? So anyway, let's get into today's business now. How is your mock and plan one year? What exactly do I mean by that? Let me tell you one secret, okay? I have been sharing with you Nena Kwambia Evi. Wealth is never an event. It's always a process. In a man yani wealth is not a thing that you can just be like that and then the next minute you're wealthy, you have money, blah, 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 blah. I know this one may not click well with you, but that's a fact. Let me just, today, let me tell you the truth. Even if you may not like this video, but the point is this, I have to tell you the truth. Now, this is the truth. Ukawe jipata in a, plane where, in a place whereby you're sitting down with your money and you're having a plan of, let's say, a maximum of one year. And that within that one year, you want to omokai yourself. You want to achieve what we call the financial freedom. Yeah, it is good to plan, but then at the end of the day, kuna some of the consequences in kufuata with you actually squeezing your plan, squeezing your vision, squeezing your everything within a year. Before ni kuambia ni nini? Take this a very simple example. Let's say you've given birth. Let's say, well, a male or female, you've given birth, like, um, okay, you have a child out there. Katundo ka meza liwa. Uneza ka squeeze, ka tembe, ka crawl, ka walk, ka shule within a near. You cannot be able to do that because that is obvious it cannot happen. Kuna steps uwa kanafuata. Lazima ka crawl, ka toke hapo. I don't know, kanze kutamba tamba uko ivo, ka kishikilia viti, ka toke hapo. And then kanze kutembea and whatever. There is that sequential process that you have to follow, all right? The same case applies to wealth and money creation. So the point is this, unafa unaanza a certain step somewhere. And of course, you have to give yourself an allowance. If you find yourself planning within an year, two years, you still have a problem. Tunasemanga, when you want to create a wealth, top of three years and above, three years and above, within that range, then, let's say you want to start getting yourself into farming, okay? Ukona do maali, maybe you umekua outside the country or within the country, you've been employed there, you are, you want to start a project, let's say you're farming, all right? You want to do some daily farming. Of course, kuna zile doktor hitaji kujenga hizo all the cow shelves and whatever, what have you. And of course, kuna what the waiting time, maybe you bought like a small cow there or whatever, a hay or whatever. Yani kuna that period of time that you have to wait. And then after saso kishanza kuhan, then unanza kutoa what you call the operational cost since you executed the idea until you break even. To break even ya manisha, you recoup back the money that you used to start that specific business. So the same case applies. If you start a certain business, you have to give yourself an allowance, give yourself a time. So so that it can grow and progress to the next level because there is a problem with okay, squeeze dreams are gonna vision zako within one year this is what happens number one if this doesn't go well and say you are at your second month or the third month sometimes even at the fourth month unanzanga kutamauka unanzanga kufanya kitu naitanga you are now contemplating shifting from the business and now starting a whole of a new thing and that's unapatanga young people or a lot of people actually even the adults tend to do or try different multiple things without actually taking one thing concentrate on it pushing it to the next level so if you keep on tapping on different things and time does not allow you at the end of the day you never perfect or nothing Tunasemanga, you are a jack of all trades, but a master of none. So it is good to make sure that you see, give each and everything that you're trying out there, give it time before you're actually thinking of shifting out of that specific thing. So Kofano may pick up a thing and then you say like, okay, he don't invest on. Okay, from Fano, let's say you want to get started with buying shares or stocks, all right? There you are, you want to see a magic happening at the end of the year. That doesn't work that way. Say you want to be buying shares, let's say, for the next a whole year, doing monthly contribution, it's like that's increasing your portfolio, and then you're waiting a magic thing to happen at the end of the year. It cannot happen. And I'm not saying ruling out that the fact that how is your mocha within an year, unless maybe you win jackpot, something happens that is mysteriously, and maybe... I'm not ruling out that it's not a factor that cannot happen. It can happen. But my question is this. How frequent does that happen? There are people who are lucky. They get their lives changed within that period of time. Like in the you have to follow the procedure. And always now one be able to give him. Well, there's always an intention. It's intentional. It's created intentional. It's like seeing somebody with muscles. Hapo kwa barabara and then unashangaa. Unamuliza haule pataji zo muscles. And nakuambia teata siyo zili kuja tu. You ni wongo. That dude build those muscles intentionally. So the same case applies when it comes to people. You have to apply intentions towards it. You have to include what you call the discipline, sacrifice, and consistency. Those things has to be there. 
disappointed him. So plan yenye naweza kuambia you are supposed to stick to it ni plan ambayo unajua inaenda from 3 years and above. Ukianza ka project sema hivi Ah, from today to the third year, or from from the third year henceforth, this is where I want to be. I want to achieve my two million. I want to achieve my ten million. I want to achieve per hundred million, depending on your capacity of your interest. I want to be by the time you are clicking the third year, I want to have a stable business. Say, I want to start a hardware business. I want to start a farming. I want to start anything business that you would like to start out there. I want to have myself a very big and good portfolio as far as the stocks buyings are concerned. That's how you do it. You take time. You keep doing the what we call the consistency until if you can mali so nasema now at this particular point where i am i'm gonna be at a good level so this is what i would advise you to do i'm gonna give you four tips on what you're supposed to do number one of course you have to have yourself a budget a budget that will help you to actually create surplus out of the money that you usually earn at the end of the day or mother you actually think whichever the care we usually get your money you need to have yourself a budget because the budget is what we usually follow to make sure that you create ourselves a surplus i could like to cast a plus surplus we create it right if you're earning 30k if you're earning 100k make sure that you live below that so that you create that surplus that surplus you save it save it to the purpose of investing investing so that you can create what we call the passive income and then progressively in a certain period of time that's how you now you bring wealth back to yourself all right Number two, this is the thing you are supposed to do. If you don't want to follow that route, then you can go the skilled way, meaning that you can learn yourself a very profitable skill, right? Because see, if you get yourself a very profitable skill, say you know something that a lot of people do not know, and you're good at saying that you know that thing and you can be able to teach people. For example, a lot of people want to get a lot of information out there, but they do not know how to go about it. For example, take an example. People nowadays are buying shambas na wengine wanaskaniwa na wanaosho. So if you have a very good understanding on what the right process or process procedure to actually go out there and buy a shamba. How about you monetize those services, all right? Create yourself a very nice portfolio there. Talk to people, tell them, hey, you know what, guys? If you'd like to buy yourself a piece of land, this is what you're supposed to follow. This is what you're supposed to do. And by the way, if you would like me to visit you wherever you want to buy yourself a shamba so that to verify whatever the thing that you're buying is authentic, give what? Give me a call. That my number is up there and whatever, all those kind of things. If you offer those kind of skills, of course, money will be thrown at you. Number two, you can learn other different skills. You can learn skills like graphic design, web designing. You can learn things to do with uh, all those kind of things that you can be able to monetize, digital marketing and what have you. Those are the things that people are so much interested on and you can be able to teach people. Now, we never earn something at the end of the day. Remember one thing, I will never cease to remind you this, that money is always a reward given after solving someone's problem. So look for the problems, look for the solutions, solve them and monetize. Attach some hooks and feet and that's how you make money. It's as simple as that, all right? But the point is this, of course you need to have yourself some discipline. That's why you can never leave it behind. You always leave this behind. You have to have yourself some skills and some discipline, consistency, and of course sacrifice. See, it starts with sacrifice, consistency, which consistency in another words actually is inculcated by discipline. Making sure that you do that thing even if you don't want it, you still have to do it because you don't have an option. You have to do it, all right? That's how we go about it, all right? The other thing that you're supposed to do, of course, at the end of the day, you need to understand one thing, that money love to make babies. Simply means that you have to make sure that you take the parent money that you usually get at the end of the month, week or day, depends on how you earn. That money is called the parent money, subject it to an investment. Thereby, they can be able to make your passive income so you can progress to the next level. That's how you do it. The procedure has never changed. Maybe due to the advancement of the technology, perhaps the way how to apply it varies from how it used to be back in the boomer's age and whatever. And the procedure is still the same. You have to do something that at the end of the day that can pay you back. And that's how you do it. Anyway, that's my simple procedure on how to explain to you. It has to take time. It's not a thing that you can just show up in the early in the morning and in the evening, you have the cash. And I've never, I've not ruled it out that it can never happen with you. Some people does, to some people that happens, all right? So some people who like wins, the jackpots and what have you. And I'm not saying that you guys go there and do all the things that you can to make sure that you win the jackpot. Anyway. That's, that's my point, all right? So if you've managed to watch this video up to this particular point, I'm so grateful. Just want to say thank you very much for doing so. All what you need to do, if you would like to be a member of this channel, it's very simple. Just click that subscription button. You'll be notified whenever I upload a new good video. If you'd like to have a conversation with me, I offer those services pertaining to money, investment, business, and all those kind of things. How about you grab my number from that description of this specific video, give me a call or text me. I still have booklets about investment, business ideas, money market fund, treasury bills, bonds, and whatever, all those kind of things and a copy is only 280 so you're there and make sure that you comment down below as well see you there